Hello everyone, I'm Frank Fu. Over the past few months, we've made great progress in our real-time digital human project. Today, I'd like to share our experience in architectural refactoring, including our migration from Java to Python and the protocol upgrade from WebSocket to WebRTC. Let's start with the migration from Java to Python. During this process, we faced a technical challenges, uh, especially around the performance optimization and the library support. While Java offers a strong capacity for audio and the video processing, we chose Python for its greater flexibility in handling high concurrency, efficient data processing, and smooth integration with WebRTC. Python's uh, coroutines and asynchronous programming model, Asyncio, greatly simplified our management of a real-time data stream. Uh, during migration, we focused on making audio and video processing more efficiently in Python. To reduce latency from file system interactions, we loaded all data into memory, avoiding disk I.O. latency. Although Python differs from Java in multi-threading and multi-processing support, we soon ensured system performance through well-designed thread pools and asynchronous programming. Next, we upgraded our communication protocol from WebSocket to WebRTC. WebSocket was originally used for real-time communication in our streaming architecture. But as the amount of data and the demands for low latency increased, we found that WebSocket introduced noticeable delays, especially under poor network uh, conditions. In contrast, WebRTC is a purpose-built for low latency, high quality uh, audio and uh, video communication. It maintains stable connections even in challenging network environments. So we switched from WebSocket to WebRTC to ensure smooth streaming and lower latency. For real-time audio processing, we use the single-frame audio stream track class to manage audio streams. Each time new audio data arrives, it's added to a queue and pushed through the RACV method, all in memory, without touching disk storage. We send the audio frames every 20 milliseconds uh, to keep the transmission fast and latency low. On the Video side, we used single frame video stream track class to handle frames individually. Each frame's uh, timestamps is based on the frame to maintain smooth playback, just like audio video frames are streamed directly from uh, memory to a uh, WebRTC, avoiding disk related bottlenecks. Audio video synchronization is one of the key improvements in our new architecture. We make sure audio and video data are pushed within the same time window to ensure they play back in perfect sync. This architecture refactoring not only improved our system's real-time performance and stability, but also laid a solid foundation for future upgrades. We'll continue working on performance optimization, exploring more efficient data handling methods, and enhancing audio-video sync uh, precision. If you're interested in real-time digital humans, WebRTC, or audio-video processing, feel free to join the conversation in the comments. We'll keep sharing updates as the project evolves. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.